John, thanks so much for coming in. That's I know okay. you're very busy on tour, but this is an important subject and very close to your heart. Absolutely. Um, talk us through your experience that you, you had with your mum. Well, obviously, my mum was diagnosed in 2010 uh, with Alzheimer's uh, and dementia, and obviously we needed to get her out of the home. Um, care is incredibly expensive. Mm. Um, I don't come from money. My mum had a little two up, two down in Manchester. We sold that house for approximately £75,000. Uh, and like I say, that was in 2010. Um, so then what do you do? How do you pay, pay those care costs? Mm. In my mother's case, the care was £45,000 a year. I think your average was about thirty, but for us, and that was in the north of England, mm. it is £45,000 a year. Mm. So how do you pay for that? You looked after your mum yeah. at home we as a family for a did long that. time, yeah. didn't you? Yeah. Was that because... I mean, lots of people want to look after a parent because they don't want to, you know, have the experience of putting them into a care home. But was that partly because financially you yeah. were facing this huge burden? Yeah, but even then, you still have... To, we still had to have nurses that came in, private nurses that came in. There were still costs involved in that. And then when we as a family felt that we were not equipped uh, medically to yeah. deal with her condition and we both work my sister and I we both both had to work we had to find her a placement and the only placement we could find that we felt was fitting for her at this time in her life cost that amount of money and we saw lots and lots yeah. and lots of care homes how, what did it feel like how did it feel John for you and your sister and your mum to be selling the home that she as you've said in the past she absolutely adored devastating you know, my mum worked so hard every day of her life and what she had was to leave, not to us necessarily, but to her, her grandchildren. You know, that was all she had and my mum passed away three weeks ago with zero in her bank account. Zero.